Visit www.ashbridgesbay.ca backslash BE whiteboard for a navigable interface to all of our whiteboard drawings. Welcome to our whiteboard drawing, Jump to 9.1.2, Part 1, Overview of a Jump Upgrade and Virtualization. In this drawing, we'll provide an overview of a jump upgrade. A jump migration has many advantages. No rehosting of licenses for intermediate hops. All you need is a license for your 9.1.2 or higher software. The current production environment is untouched except for device upgrades. Cisco recommends upgrading phones and other devices to the target loads in advance of the cutover to minimize the maintenance window for the cutover. Flash cutover. Everything will be cut over at once in the smallest possible maintenance window. Easy fallback. If you decide to roll back for some reason, it's easy. Your current production cluster is untouched. Minimal downtime. You will have a series of small maintenance windows for device upgrades and a single larger window for the actual cutover. We'll show you how to use your BE 6000 or 7000 as a jump lab. First, some background information on CUCM software versions. The numbering convention for CUCM software versions starts with a major version. For example, versions 9, 8, 7, 6, and 4. Almost no one is on 5, so let's not worry about that one. 10 is out now, but Enterprise 20 is still at 9.1. This represents the major version. Licenses are bound to the major version. Next comes the minor version. The minor version has no effect on licensing. And finally, we have the maintenance release. Sometimes the maintenance release is bracketed. And sometimes a dotted notation is used. We also have the build, which represents the exact software release. A DRS backup can only be restored to a cluster with the exact same build. The build will be part of the name of the installation media. This is the build that came with the ABA Labs BE6000s and is what we'll use in the labs. It's good to know the kinds of upgrades and their operational implications. W1 upgrades are upgrades from the version 4.x Windows model to the Red Hat Enterprise Linux appliance model. These upgrades are more complex and can have the longest downtime. An example would be an upgrade from 4.1.3 to 7.1.3. For a jump migration, you need to take your 4.x software to either 6.1.4 or 7.1.3. L2 upgrades are upgrades from one version of the appliance model to another version running on the same major version of Red Hat Enterprise Linux, or RHEL. These upgrades are the least complicated and have the shortest downtime. These are upgrades between versions 5.x, 6.x, 7.x, 8.0, and 8.5, or from 8.6 to 9.x or 10.x. For example, an upgrade from 7.1.5 to 8.5 or from 8.6 to 9.1.2. Refresh upgrades are upgrades from one version of the appliance model to another version running on different major releases of Red Hat Enterprise Linux. These upgrades are simpler than W1 upgrades, but a little more complicated than L2 upgrades. These are upgrades from version 6, 7, 8.0 or 8.5 to versions 8.6 or 9 or 10. For example, an upgrade from 8.5 to 8.6 or an upgrade from 8.5 to 9.1.2. Our Jump to 9.1.2 environment has three clusters. The current production cluster. This cluster has MCS servers running old software. Next, we have the builds or intermediate cluster, which contains virtualized versions of older production software. This is not supported in production. And finally, the pre-production cluster, which is the target 9.1.2 cluster. All three clusters use the same subnets. The Cisco collaboration apps will have the same IP addresses, default gateways, DNS, and NTP servers in all three clusters. The builds and pre-production clusters are isolated. We will deploy these clusters in a sandbox. The VLAN supporting these clusters will have no routed interfaces attached to them. At the end of the migration, the current production and the builds clusters will be shut down and the pre-production cluster VLANs will be changed to the production cluster VLANs. Why have both the builds and pre-production cluster? 
We want to have both of these clusters available simultaneously so we can compare and adjust as needed. This also facilitates parallel activities. You can work on these clusters at the same time. The current production cluster has MCS servers running versions 6.1.4, 6.1.5, 7.1.3, or 7.1.5. It could also have older 4.1.3, 4.2.3, or 4.3.2 software. If you have other versions of CUCM deployed, you'll have to patch up to one of these versions. If you are running 8.x on physical servers, the virtualization and upgrade path is simpler and not really a jump. We're including 8.x virtualization and upgrade as a subset of jump so we can have a single drawing covering all of the different scenarios. The builds, or intermediate cluster, contains virtualized versions of our production software running 6.1.4, 6.1.5, 7.1.3, or 7.1.5, and 8.x. Virtualized versions of 6.1.4, 6.1.5, 7.1.3, or 7.1.5 software are not supported in production. If you upgrade from a virtualized version of 6.1.4, 6.1.5, 7.1.3, .1 or 7.1.5 software, the result is also not supported. Virtualized CUCM version 8.x is supported in production as long as you use the OVA template to build the virtual machine. You also have to conform to the general rules for UC on UCS. If you're running version 4, you can virtualize an upgrade at the same time with a Windows upgrade using DMA. The target for this upgrade is either 6.1.4 or 7.1.3. Once you've virtualized and upgraded your 4.x software to 6.1.4 or 7.1.3, you can follow the rest of the jump procedures to get to 9.1.2. Before you virtualize the production cluster, You'll want to upgrade the production device loads to the 9.1.2 target loads. This makes the cutover from the production cluster to the pre-production cluster faster and easier, as devices do not need to download new device loads to register to the upgraded cluster during your cutover maintenance window. The builds cluster is where the upgrade to 9.1.2 will happen. Once the upgrade is done, you'll do a DRS backup of the builds cluster and then shut it down. The DRS backup will be imported into the pre-production cluster. The pre-production cluster is the target 9.1.2 cluster. Here is where you will do a clean install of the 9.1.2 cluster using the 9.1 OVA so that the partitions will be properly aligned. Once the cluster is installed, you'll do a DRS restore using the backup file from the builds cluster. This migrates the upgraded production configuration to a partition aligned clean install. Once the DRS restore is done, you can cut over. For CUCM version 8.x installed on physical servers, we will virtualize them into the builds cluster. Then once the upgrade and DRS backup are done, we'll rename the builds cluster pre-production. Then we can directly do the cutover. We're doing this to make it easy for us to describe 8.x virtualization at the same time as the jump procedure. Coming up next, Jump to 9.1.2, Part 2, Jump Lab VLANs. Thanks for watching!